What's up my dudes, thank you very much for tuning in, I hope you guys have an excellent day today. Now you may remember I've done two previous videos on the Bark uh, Furry social media app. Uh, one when it first came out which was generally positive, and one a little later where I, I criticised a few things I thought was lacking a few features. Well now I'm doing a follow up video because I think it's about time that we actually all delete this app, get rid of it, don't support it no more. So before we get into the meat of this video, a couple of disclaimers. First up, images etc. covered under section 30 CDPA 1988. Uh, criticism clause of fair dealings. So don't bother copyright striking this video. I will win. Also, please folks, don't go harass the people from Burke. Don't go giving them hell or anything like that. Not groovy, dude. Anyway, today I want to address some rather troubling information regarding the owner of the Bark app, a dude named Wootske or Wootske, or I'm going to call him Wootski for this video. Something that he's done that may indicate that he may possibly actually be a zoo, or at the very minimum, a zoo enabler, a zoo supporter, which is rather gnarly in my opinion. And it relates to some pictures that he actually posted up on his Twitter, on his social media, of his new fursuit. Uh, now you may be thinking, well, what's that got to do with the price of fish? Well, simply put, it's the maker of the fursuit. He has actually gone away and commissioned a DHC fursuit. Don't hug cacti. Now, as you all may know, there have been a lot of allegations against uh, Lucky Coyote, the founder, or well, co-founder of DHC, and what she gets up to with animals, and how abusive she is, and uh, some a lot of accusations of transphobia and I'm not going to get into it I'm not going to go into detail of these things there's plenty of other videos out there I'll link down below to where you can actually look into this stuff but it's been well known for the last four or five years that Lucky Coyote is a bit of a gnarly person and obviously by commissioning a fursuit from DHC from Lucky Coyote you're effectively supporting her and saying hey we don't care what you did so Wootski actually going ahead and commissioning DHC is actually quite problematic. Not just about who they're willing to support and what kind of activities they're willing to overlook, but what kind of activities are into themselves as well. There's some heavy duty implications there. Now obviously when people saw who uh, Wootski had commissioned, they did bring it up in the comment section of uh, his tweet. And to no one's surprise, he just did not interact with any negative. You could see him happily respond to any positive comments from people who either support that kind of stuff or just didn't know about it but anything negative or anything calling them out on it or anything bringing up the subject of lucky Cody's abuse no response no response whatsoever um now we have to give people the benefit of the doubt it may be that he didn't know about what lucky Cody supposedly did you know there are still furries out there who are completely unaware of dhc's activities um so I figured I'd give them the benefit of the doubt and I'd ask them if they were aware before they commissioned the suit of what Lucky Coyote had done. And there was no response. So I asked them a second time in a separate thread whether they were aware. Again, no response. So I went for a third time and asked them in another separate thread whether they were aware of what Lucky Coyote has been accused of and all the allegations against them. And once again, no response. It's been over a week now and I've had no response to any of the questions. So it's like, bruh, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here. Respond to me. You, know, you have every opportunity to deny knowing in advance about the uh, what, what Lucky Coyote has done. And you know, an innocent person, someone who didn't know in advance, would be all over Twitter saying, hey dudes, I didn't know, I'm sorry, I was unaware. And people would just be like, oh, no worries, dude, just don't do it again. And they would just leave them alone. It, there's a track record of DHC suitors who were unaware at the time, just being left alone. And okay, there's some dickheads who will go after all DHC suitors, regardless of when they bought the suit. But for the most part, the fandom will leave a DHC suitor alone if they were unaware at the time that they commissioned the suit, what uh, Lucky Coyote's done. But he didn't even he didn't even try to defend himself. He's just gone with a silent treatment, and that that is screaming louder than any words possibly could. That he knew he knew in advance what Lucky Coyote had done, and he went ahead with the commission anyway. He commissioned them despite being aware of the gnarly shit that Lucky Coyote has allegedly done. So you know it's clear that he, at the very bare minimum, supports Lucky Coyote. It may just be that he has no issue with the zoo side of things or the transphobia or any of the other abusive stuff that Lucky Coyote's been accused of. 
or maybe that the you know, he's into that shit himself we don't know because he's not talking about it and there's no concrete evidence but i'm not personally willing to support someone who supports lucky coyote so if this is the kind of shit that he's willing to support nah dog i'm getting rid of my bark account and deleting the app and i'm encouraging everyone else to do the same until he actually comes forward and says hey i don't support that shit because at the moment it's kind of like we're getting the impression dude that you are into zoophilia which is rather gnarly dude so yeah whoopski if you're watching this come on dude give us an answer let us know whether you support lucky coyote or not um or whether it's just an innocent mistake on your part because well if you don't you, you, this is how you sign the death knell of your app because the majority of furries are not going to tolerate an app made by someone who's into that or enables that or just generally supports that thing now on the note of support if you found this video informative or useful and you're going to go away and delete the app or whatever and you want to support me make more most excellent videos please consider joining my patreon you will see the names of my supporters down below also, consider joining my Discord, come chilling with the dudes, hanging out with some most excellent people there. Other than that, though, I hope you guys have a most excellent day, an amazing week, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, take care, ta -ra.